Oh boy. <laughs> uh, uh, some great news today. It is currently June 24th. And uh, <laughs> today will be a long remembered day. <laughs> great news coming out. I am so glad. Oh, oh, oh boy. Finally, finally. I've been waiting years to hear this. They're finally... Oh my god. I'm just too hyped, honestly. I, I can't sit still. Finally, finally, finally. I've been waiting years. I'm so glad. I've, I've been waiting forever. I have loved... I love the news, you know. I love what just came out. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. God, I'm gonna have to prolong talking about this. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, he said I had an anger problem. That's not true. He's angry because of something else, something I'd lost. I'm trying so hard since not to be angry. It got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. It's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, the bus I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared, all the time, and the fear hurts, feeling like everything is over, it was over long before I got here, so long, hiding, I'm trying to outrun this, I get it, this won't stop, until I die, but when I die, I want it to hurt, when my friends leave, when I have to let go, this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad, I want to lose, I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. I will not go quietly into the night. It's better to burn out than fade away. Uh, yep. Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I'm something, at least. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Cubert language. Oh my gosh, it's Cubert. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. Will you shut up, man? I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me, then do it. If not... Oh, great, it did it. Oh, okay, I'm alive. Wow. <laughs> what the heck happened? You got all sleepwalky there for a second. Jeez. <laughs> that just didn't happen or something? Oh my gosh. Anyways, on to the... On to talking about the great news. Finally, finally, finally... They announced it. Ichiro Oda is finally ending One Piece. <laughs> I saw... Oh my gosh. I don't. I guess it didn't come out today today, but this is the first time I saw it. The, uh, the Road to Laugh Tale. Um, God. And I've been... I, w I was watching One Piece for a long time. And I was, I've been reading One Piece for a really long time now. And it, it was always the kind of thing you just don't expect it to end. But, you know, like, it's, it's find all of the islands on the entire Earth, you know. Eventually, there's a finite amount. You have to find the One Piece eventually. They're gonna freaking find it. Hell yeah. Great news. Great news. Absolutely. Anyways. I could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods doing it. Anyways, what are we... Are we gonna climb? Are we climbing? Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm like all hyper now, like dolphins. Yeah. Like dolphins. Absolutely. Because, get all hyper, because you're filled with dolphins. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna curse you all with the line of thought that I just had right now. Filled with dolphins, right? So... One funny thing about intelligent species 
Um, dolphins, you know, are uh, as intelligent as humans or something like that. That's one of those stats. So apparently dolphins are so... I guess I wouldn't say depraved. There, there are more. There, there are more instances of dolphins being human-like. Apparently, dolphins. Um, uh, I was going to say commit. They, they practice intercourse for pleasure. Let's say. Um, so I'm not going to. Well, I'm just going to say it anyways. Haha, <laughs> filled, filled with dolphins. I guess with anyways. Better being filled by dolphins, huh? Anyways. Uh. Yeah, let's ride those dolphins. I am... <sighs> yep. You know, it'd be really... I don't know what I'm gonna make the thumbnail now. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is gonna be fun. We're jumping out of here, boyos. We're getting the heck out of here. Is this like a well or something? I'm gonna end up in a well, aren't I? Well, 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 would you look what we have here. But yeah, I'm gonna talk about One Piece more. I really like One Piece, One Piece is cool. It is a well. Dude, I'm gonna crawl out of the well. Oh my gosh. Was that a ring reference? This place, huh. It's Germ! What the heck are you doing out here? Yeah. <laughs> I live... You, you live up the hill? We were, we were stuck in a well. I heard a lot of people wish you well, but <laughs> some of these people want to throw you down one. And they want to throw you in a well. Anyways. Today's a good day. I'm glad today's good. Can you go get the rope, though, Germ? That would be great. Oh, cool. Germ's a nice guy. We like Germ. Yeah? Is that Germ? Yeah, it was Germ. Isn't that interesting? And he's getting some rope for us. Apparently, he lives out here. He spends all of the nights in the woods. God, imagine if this game centered around Germ. There would be a couple of nights, you know? Yeah, maybe if y'all just, like, jumped up like I did, you wouldn't have had to climb up a rope up an entire well. Oh, thanks, Charm. He brought sodas. That's great. We, we like Charm. <laughs> I know I said... Maybe not in the last episode, but the episode before. No, I guess it was the last episode that Charm's kind of, like, unrelated and not necessary, but we like Charm now. Thanks, Charm. Can you seal up the well? <laughs> How is he gonna do that, May? I got Jesus trying to find it! <laughs> what are you, the guy that invented the Nobel Prize? <laughs> you can get some. I guess he does. Oh my gosh, he does frequent the. Uh, he does frequent the the supply store. So, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Germ. Blow up the well, please. <laughs> okay, Germ's a G. That's why his name starts with G. Actually, G stands for germ. The, the term is derivative of germ, actually. Anyways. We did save our lives. Well, I probably could have saved our lives. Come on. Give, give me some credit, you know? I, I told germ to get the rope. And probably helped haul you people out. So there's that. D you know, no, actually germ's going to do that. Well... Anyways, the elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. It was a self-defensive cave-in. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't know. They're all still alive down there, until Germ throws a stick of dynamite. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're blameless. They attacked us. No. Anyways. I don't know if one of them even attacked us. Are we worrying about... It's morally gray, I suppose. You could say that you could let someone know that they're down there at the very least. This is kind of a prisoner's dilemma kind of deal. I would say that since they're the only ones who could possibly know that they're down there, eventually you, like, recognize that 
bunch of people are gone, but at the same time, they're kind of culpable because they could have said, oh, there's people down there, and this isn't exactly naturally occurring. We blew a, uh, the cave just kind of fell in on a bunch of people thing. They're, they're gonna blow up the cave, so. I don't know. Yeah, they killed people, but. This is a bit my. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This, this is. Yeah, I'd say morally gray kind of fits the bill a lot. I don't even believe in hell. <laughs> I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez. Angus being vocal for one time. She mentioned the trolley dilemma. <laughs> yeah, let's keep walking and please don't men please don't explain the trolley dilemma now that I've kind of gone through not really gone through, but now that I've talked at all about things like that, anyways. Are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. It's hard for me to say anything smart. But, uh, it's easier for me to get it all out if I need to talk, so... Yeesh. None of us asked for any of this. It didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. I don't think any of us deserved all this. It's all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all, like, moving so fast that you're dropped in. You're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. The whole killing that guy to save me thing. Lol. Lol. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to understand everything, but I hope it's over. I just feel like... I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but keep you all with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Eesh. But, germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use a messenger. Guess I'm just typing at you wherever you are at. Where are you, germ? I hope this reaches you, germ. You're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all your problems, but if I could fix them, I would. I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or like, Borrow them, probably. But better friend would buy. But anyways, let's just not worry about that. I'm I'm glad. There it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all of this before any of you can see it. <laughs> I was just kidding about a lot of that. There's there's no delete button for these. Oh god. What did I just put out on Twitter? <laughs> log off, May, log off. Oh, jeez. We never found out what was in... Not the attic, but the, uh... I live in the attic. The... The spare room. Ain't that wacky. Maybe we'll find out what was in the spare room in the next episode. Though... I guess it would be proper to say that we didn't really do much on this episode. Wow. Career idea. Brave digger. <laughs> oh, great. They saw my message. Hey, May, you okay? Not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Oh, nice. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork. Band practice today? Because I feel like you need to do something normal. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. The Snalkin. Very cool. It's good to be alive this morning, that's all. Uh, very true. Honestly, Angus, my man, I'm going to see Epilogue. Well, I suppose this is a good time to end the episode. We'll find out more of the Epilogue on the next episode of Night in the Woods. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll kill you. Goodbye!
Yeah, I hope for that one. I thought it was pretty funny.